and then look at collective IQ as, you know, an issue that mm -hmm. needs to be solved. That, that that really is the grand challenge of grand challenges because if you can get way better at that, then you can plug that in to any of the other grand challenges and any of the other yeah. big things or even small things that we need to um, accomplish. Well, just the effect of getting 5% better. Right, <laughs> right. And, and how much better how much better to aim for what's the potential right degree of change improvement mm -hmm. and uh, I've always felt the potential was large mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's been hard for me to, that's intuitive and what I'd call it an intuitive certainty <laughs> yeah in my mind um, but this discussion brings out to me that boy how how would you try to communicate that to that part of the strata of the world or whatever it is that could actually grab it as a challenge and mm -hmm. do something about it? I used to think oh, I will go to the universities, and mm -hmm. <laughs> but it just turns out that uh, it doesn't change much about the degree of sophistication of the institutions. These these concepts don't seem to fit in the kind of orientation. Mm -hmm. Of prevailing research and, yeah. and yeah, because really it's a, and, uh, it's a research issue as well as just a commercialization issue oh, of what oh kind yes. of products can you get out there. So we'll and um, it seemed to me that there could be an evolutionary path that wouldn't be that hard to get started. Mm -hmm. And the farther along that path the society got, the better able it would be to clarify and accelerate its progress on that mm -hmm. path. Mm -hmm. And um, so, how do you get it started? Right. The term of bootstrapping mm -hmm. came around and saying, "Well, who are the what's what subset of your society is going to be the more more effective at making changes?" And it would be important then to boost their capability mm -hmm. early on. Mm -hmm. 